Hello, this is Michael King here, and today is March the 15th, 2011, and the subject for this evening is very popular uh, given the current events in Japan, nature's most powerful protections from radiation exposure, the effectiveness of whole earthen resources, and the dangers of iodine therapy. Now, I make a point of that, not because it's going to always be dangerous, but iodine by itself is not a whole earthen resource. Therefore, you can suspect immediately that there could be some side effects, in some cases some serious side effects, when you get an excess for your system. Now, what that really means is that everyone's individual. Some people are more, much more sensitive to iodine than others, and uh, some don't know it. And then when they take a therapeutic dose because of the uh, radiation floating in the atmosphere and they feel as though this is medical advice, this is the best thing to do, and then they end up with these serious side effects, then uh, you wonder why. Well, to begin with, in most every case, if a resource or a, uh, a, new, um, a compound, in this case, is not derived directly from nature, then there's a strong chance that at some point in the taking of it, if not right away, there can be some side effects. Maybe long-term, maybe short-term benefits with long-term detriment, but nevertheless, because of its imbalanced nature, it is bound to do some form of imbalancing in the human body. When Mother Nature put resources together, they were put together specifically for the human body, and, and, and because this human body is a biological organism made of the clay of the earth, it, it, it are... <laughs> It's the things that are grown from the clay and the things that uh, literally are the clay that are absolutely compatible with the human body. In other words, biological organism and natural resources are a perfect match. Chemical medicine and a biological organism are not a match. You take something out of nature and you fragment it, you take a piece of it, you take a single mineral rather than the whole spectrum of minerals you'll find in a clay source, and then you have a problem because it's so easy to get too much or not have its complementary compounds that nature puts into a clay source or a plant, a whole earthen resource. And so the the unbalancing effect that it can have um, on your system starts right away. In some cases, it will take you out of balance from where you're at, which is already out of balance, and it will fill in the void. And then you get enough of it, and then you keep thinking, well, that did me so well, I'm starting to feel really good. You keep taking it, and pretty soon it throws you right back out of balance on the opposite end of the spectrum. And the reason is because it wasn't balanced to begin with. It wasn't whole. So if you look in your, your uh, vitamin and mineral cabinet, we won't talk about your medicine cabinet, okay? We're just talking about natural resources or something that pretends to be a natural resource. If you look in your cabinet and you realize that a laboratory has put together an assembly of vitamin A, B, C, D, and CalMag, this and that, and CoQ10, and, and MSM, and uh, iodine, you know immediately that somebody wasn't thinking according to the natural order. They, wasn't, they weren't understanding that nature has remedies that are holistic, that, that address all areas of the body at one time not just a deficiency of a specific mineral like iodine or calcium or magnesium. 